this conversation is to establish what you both want. At this stage of the game, it's, it's, I think that the separation is the only thing that I go for. I, I'm, not, I'm not coming back as a husband. I can't. It's not working for me. You I'm don't not. want to work on things. The person that needs to work on me in regards to you is uh, John, 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 she's asked you a question. No, there. After watching Max's behavior, I really wanted to see whether he was aware of his own actions. So when he settled by the computer, I went over and had a word with him. Well, I've been acting up since my dad left the house. Oh, you have, have you? Why is that then? I actually don't know. The day he left, I asked him if he would tell me why he left, but he never did. Do you want to know? I really do. I don't know why he really left. Yeah, there's so many things going through his head. So many questions that he wants answers, and he's really very lost and confused right now. Let me show you something. Come with me. I wanted to talk to Max to find out exactly what it was like in the house before his dad left. If your mum and dad were in this living area here and they were arguing, where was you and your sister? Even if I was sleeping, I would normally wake up, go down where the argument was and stop it. Yeah. And, but it keeps happening every night, almost every night. Right. He's been caught in the crossfire of his parents arguing frantically. And my dad, yeah. he's not part of the family anymore. Oh, that, and how does that make you feel? I'm feeling a little, not, I'm not feeling so good. What can I do here to help? What would you like can me you, to change? Can you, can you talk with my dad and try to get him, try to get him back? Because I really miss him. And I think I just felt a hairline fracture in my heart as he said that, and a big lump in my throat. Well, I can't promise you that Daddy's going to come back into the house. I, I can't promise that. That's something that Mummy and Daddy are going to have to talk. Yeah. But I know one thing. I know that Daddy loves you very, very much. Yeah. Can I give you a big hug? Because I'd like to give you a really big hug. Dad walked in and the kids were so happy. Hi, pleased to meet you. Joe. Pleased to meet you. Hi. And he was very pleased to see myself and said hi and was very open and friendly. If we are going outside, then you need to wear your shoes, okay? He's fully committed, engaged in spending that time with the kids when he's back from work. He says hello to Sarah and it's kind of cordial, but he's there because he's there to see his kids. Okay, here we go. One. The kids out back with Dad left me and Sarah in the house, so I thought I could have this chat about her circumstances with John. So he comes over at this time. Every wait, day. Every day at 4 o'clock. Every day at 4 o'clock. Yeah. They have dinner, he helps with the bath, helps put in bed, and then he goes. How long have you been doing that then? Eight months. So that's as long as you've been separate? Yeah. So you both decided to... No, he decided to. He decided. So he decided that he wanted a separation or that he needed to move out. What was, what's the story? He never communicated to me during the marriage how unhappy he was. I really didn't see it coming. I didn't know he was going to move out. And he moved out. Yeah. And then when I asked, you know, can we work on it? Um, he was like, I'll think about it. Is it something that you want to work on? Of course. So you still want to be married to John? Right. I still love him very much. I still respect him very much. I think he's a wonderful father, and I miss him terribly. You've seriously not spoke for eight months about how you move forward? I mean, for eight I've, months, he's been in a separate place. I've you, tried to I, talk to him about moving forward, but he is scared. To, he, he's comfortable where it is right now, because it's comfortable for him. Sarah was very open, talking about her relationship and the breakdown. But of course, there's two sides to every story. So I went out back to speak to John to find out some more. I had to walk away because I was 
at my wits end. I was angry more, I was more frustrated, I took it out on, on the kids more, and they're, they're the innocent victims in all this. Uh, I have loved them from the day that they were born uh, to this day now. My biggest fear is that trying to not hurt them is the biggest challenge that I have. I was hoping to get a better explanation of why John had decided to move out, but quite frankly, I was still confused. It is important that he talks to Sarah about where he wants to be because she's walking on eggshells hoping. I gave John and Sarah the night to think because I need to know what direction they're going in. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hiya. Because it determines what I'm going to teach this family. For eight months, you guys have chose to be in a place that's not progressed. Decisions have to be made now so that at least you guys can move on, not just as individuals, but as parents. If I say, you know what, let's, let's drop the bomb right now, let's pull the trigger, let's move in our separate directions. That scares me to death because I don't want to hurt anybody. You know, I still love him though, and I would like to understand and realize what we had done and put it behind us and try to have the family, to have the joy, to have the love and respect that the reasons why we got married. I mean, I understand we both screwed it up and I take responsibility for a huge part of that, but I don't think you will make the choice to just let your guard down and to try. I don't feel that I can let my guard down now. This conversation is to establish what you both want. At this stage of the game, it's, it's, I think that the separation is the only thing that I go for. I, I'm, not, I'm not coming back as a husband. I can't. It's not working for me. You I'm don't not. want to work on things. The person that needs to work on me in regards to you is that. Uh, John, 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 she's asked you a question. No, there. I can't fight anymore. If that's your decision, we have to split. I can't. Just. You don't want the relationship anymore. You don't want the marriage. Correct. I don't even know what to say. It's very difficult for me because I had hope. Then what I see with regards to the work that I can do here is to really take you through that transition. We're going to need a conversation with the kids. John and Sarah told me that they had decided to divorce and straight away my thoughts were on the kids. No matter how hard this conversation is going to be for the pair of them, they've got to tell the kids. You know that mommy and daddy love you very, 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 very to the 10th power much, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. At this time, mommy and I are not going to stay married. But what we will stay forever and ever and ever are your mommy and daddy. We will never, ever leave you. There's nothing that's ever happened that has brought us to here has to do with you. Truth is, is that mommy and daddy have made that decision to live in their separate houses, but that you guys will have two homes. Do you remember when we were talking, Max? And you said there were a few things that you didn't know and you wanted to ask daddy some questions. Well, now you could ask daddy those questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, what question do you have? Do you remember? You said you would tell me why you moved out and you never did since. You okay. Why. I moved out because I was trying to please everybody all the time. And you were. And I, I was, except one person, and that one person was me. I gave so much that I didn't have any more to give. John launched into this introspective conversation, but I knew the kids wouldn't understand. I mean, what they need from him is a conversation that's black and white. The reason why Daddy moved out is because Daddy got on better with Mummy when they were living in separate houses. Because when they're in the same house, it's not good, is it? 
No, they were fighting, and that's, that's not good for anybody. Today was the day that I faced my biggest fear and explained to Max and Claire that I was not coming back as a husband, but I will always be their father, their daddy. So what's important for mummy and daddy is that even though they're gonna be in different houses, they're going to be together with you both. I'm a little sad because my dad and mom are not together, but they still really love me a lot. And that was a tough conversation for both Sarah and John to have with their kids, but it was a lot lighter than how they thought it was gonna turn out. It seemed to leave the kids in a very comfortable place about where they were gonna be in the mix of it all. Oh, big hugs, big family big hugs. hugs. Big family hugs, come on. Big family, big, big, big hugs, hugs and kisses. Uh...